is this irresistible creature who has an insatiable love for the dead? You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Hi, my name is Sky, yes, double Y, and welcome to my channel, Sky Explains It All. Or if you've already been here before, welcome back. So, as you can see in the title, today I'm going to be talking about why you should totally embrace being the villain and why I have totally embraced being the villain and why I think we in general like villains. So sit back, grab a snack, and get your evil cackle ready. <laughs> so as you see, I have my evil queen mug here, sipping on some Vermont ginger maple tea that is divine but what i really want to talk about is why like i'm totally okay with being the villain and when i say that i don't mean going around you know kicking dirt in kids faces or stealing little kids lollipops or you know being the wicked witch of the west that's not what i mean what i mean is you're gonna have to start putting your foot down when it comes to certain situations and not be okay with being a people pleaser because people will continue to walk all over you. And I know this as someone who was a people pleaser that grew up in an environment that kind of formed me into being a people pleaser because you want people to like you. You don't want people to dislike you. You want everyone to speak well of you or when they are talking to other people at least that's how i used to feel now i really could give two shit please eat what wait he said please eat some shiitake mushrooms yuck i really could I choose to be a good person and sometimes when you're a good person you do things that not, are not quote unquote nice and I would rather be around someone who chooses to be a good person rather than a nice person because it's real easy to be nice. We say certain things because it's nice to say. It makes someone feel good. It feels nice. But the question is, is it right? And the answer is sometimes no. Like sometimes you got to say no for your own mental health. Like let's say, for example, you realize you have, you're in a friendship and this person keeps taking from you, like emotionally, taking from you, taking from your time, taking your energy, always trauma dumping, da 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 da, -da X, Y, Z. And you and try to instill boundaries, right, for this person. And this person, all of a sudden, it's like they're so used to you going along with them and just going along for the ride with them and not setting boundaries. They're like when you start standing up for yourself and setting boundaries are all like oh look like shook like it literally collapses their whole worldview and they like they don't know what to do they're goop gaggle and gather and so from their perspective you're going to be considered the bad guy because and i'm not blaming you at all because this happened to me it's not our fault these people are taking advantage of the fact that you are a people pleaser and all these other things like so you don't have to feel bad for them at all they're probably not going to like you they're probably going to speak ill of you to their other friends and that's okay because that person was not really even your friend to begin with my dear if you setting boundaries that protects your mental health and all of that jazz offends someone else they need to go they need to get the boot and if they talk ill about you then that's on them Whatever they got going on, that has to do with them. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. Any real friend would be totally fine with you being like, oh wow, yeah, I didn't mean, I didn't even realize I was doing X, Y, and Z to you. I'm super sorry that, that I was doing that. I didn't even realize it, but now you brought it to my attention. I'm gonna work on it and I hope you feel comfortable telling me in the future if you feel like we're going back down that path again. That's what a real friend would do. Fake friend or a trifling friend or a friend that just wants to use you oh well i've been been through x y and z i've been through this i've been like when it becomes like them victimizing themselves and it's making excuses get away from that person because like there's literally no talking to people like that like there's absolutely no talking to people like that i was born with glass bones and paper skin every morning i break my legs 
And every afternoon I break my arms. They're always the victim. Everything was woe is them. They're the only one who's ever had anything bad happen. They're like, there's no use talking to that person. Forget them. Avita Zen, bada bing, bada boom. They gotta go. You're out. You basically took yourself out of this competition. I'm sure there are plenty of people who exist now who would say I'm the villain, that would think that I'm not so nice of a person. And I don't really care because I know that I do not go out of my way to be manipulative to other people, to be heartful to other people, to um, invalidate other people's feelings. I know that I do not intentionally do that. Maybe I've gone about in life and I've unintentionally done things that have hurt people. But I know, like like I said, I know myself and I know my heart and I know that I never would want to intentionally cause harm to someone. Like, what is the freaking point? Like, I, I don't like I don't get that. Like, I don't get just genuinely being like a terrible person to other people. Something I'll never understand. I think the reason why, well, I can only speak for myself, why I feel like I like villains and I can say why I feel like maybe other people like villains too, is at the core, they don't care that about being liked. Like you see villains, they're having the best, well, not all of them, child, but you see a lot of villains, they have the best time of their freaking life because they're not worried about A, B, C, D, and E, F, G caring if they like them or not. They're like, okay, you don't like that anyway. So like they continue to do them. And I think that's why I've always admired and really liked villains growing up because they never care to be liked. They're always vocal about when they didn't agree with someone and they were having fun and living their best life. Now, I don't agree with the extent that they've gone and done things like causing physical harm and mental harm and things like that. I'm not talking about that. And of course, remember, I'm speaking only in a fictitious sense. I'm not talking about real life. I'm talking purely fiction, media, books, all of that stuff. This doesn't apply. This isn't, I'm not talking about those weirdos who were like, were literally like simping over freaking Jeffrey Dahmer, like literally, that's a whole other topic, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm literally just talking about fictional characters here, all right? But even then you gotta be careful because I'm sorry, but if I meet a guy who says his hero is the Joker, that is a red flag. As someone who loves the Joker as a character, I'm telling you, if someone's whole worldview is based around the Joker, run absolutely get out of there immediately immediately red flag run all i'm saying is you are gonna be with you for the rest of your life and you can do that by either going along to get along not setting boundaries making other people happy while simultaneously being disingenuous to yourself and not reaching your full potential or you can start saying no you can start setting boundaries you can be respectful about it. I'm not saying, you know, tell someone the F off or anything like that. You can be respectful about it. But if that person then does not want to go along with what the program is now that you've made boundaries, then they got to go. And if them going means they're going to bad mouth you to other people, well, then that's just how it's going to be. We, we can't control other people. Like, you can't do it. Like, I know that sucks to say it, but we just can't. And honestly... People who fully take, what am I trying to say here? If someone tells me that there's a person that they know and they think that they're X, Y, and Z and like bad mouth them, I'm not taking that for that person's word. Like I may have it in the back of my mind, but if someone tells me, oh, I don't like X, Y, and Z person, this, they're this and that, they're bougie, they're uppity, they're this, they're that. And then you meet that person and like there's nothing wrong with them the problem they have with that person is that person has what set boundaries does not allow people to disrespect them is vocal with what they like and dislike and i'm like oh so you don't like them because they don't take any mess that's why you don't like them that's why they're a bad person oh because they have standards they're uppity oh okay work oh because they want better for themselves they got a bad attitude they think they're snobs okay work like mm. You don't look ignorant, but I guess you can't judge a book, right? I found out at one of my old jobs, um, because I had a friend that was still working at this place, and she told me that the owner told her that, like, when I worked there, like, none of the girls liked me who worked there. And I just started cackling, because I'm like, literally, I know for a fact I was nothing but nice to these people. These are the reasons why certain people didn't like me. They said I was a teacher's pet, that I was a suck-up, and... 
mind you, things they said behind my back because no one would ever say this stuff to my face because <laughs> child. I know where that came from, that teacher's petness. So I am black, right? Keep that in mind, it's important. And I was working at this particular store and it's a small store. So with the exception of the weekend, only one person would work there during the week. So when I would work, I, you know, like you're supposed to do your job, um, what we're paid to do is keep the store clean, basically, and ready, essentially, to open the next morning when the next person comes in after you. Pretty basic, pretty basic stuff, um, elementary, which I thought. And I started noticing when the owner hired some new people that when I would come in to work, the store would be um, a catastrophe. And I mentioned this several times to the store owner. And I made it clear I don't feel comfortable cleaning up behind people when we're all being paid to do the same job. And I especially feel some type of way where I'm the only black person amongst a staff of only white people being one of the only, there's probably two other girls who cleaned up and that's it. But being one of the only other ones who cleaned. So they get paid to do nothing and then I'm expected to come here and clean up behind them. And because I, tell the owner that I'm not cleaning up behind y'all, I'm the one with the problem. See, that's another thing too, like a lot of y'all want black women like to be tap dancers, paid for doing nothing, and I'm here doing everything, like we're not doing it. So that's why I found out those people didn't like me. What did I say? When you set boundaries, they get mad, they can't push you around, and it does something to them, because they've probably grown up in an environment where people just give them what they want. Give them what they want, give them what they want, give them what they want. And when they meet people who are like, nah, um, nah, <laughs> that ain't gonna work for me. They lose their freaky mind. Tea is so good. My tea is almost all gone, which means this video is almost all done. And that's what I want to talk about today. If you're someone who's always saying yes, remember, it's okay for you to say no. If people don't respect your boundaries, then you know, they can get out. Respect people's boundaries. You know, when you ask someone something, they can say no. And if they say no, it doesn't make them a bad person. And it's not really that big of a freaking deal. Like, get over it. Be the villain. I mean, if that's what people are gonna paint you as for simply setting boundaries and not allowing others to walk all over you, then be the villain. Just take the not caring about being light. Don't take all the other stuff. Just it's basically about being confident in who you are and setting boundaries and living your best life and being true to yourself the best way possible with, while being, you know, not harmful to yourself or to other people, of course. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like the content that I make here, please subscribe. I would love to have you here. And also leave a comment. Hmm. Leave me a comment telling me who your favorite villain is or villains. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a dreamy day. Bye.